under orders and away. And a pretty good even break. Hires Praise breaks very well in the centre of the course. And over on the far side, Glen Croft showing very good speed. Glen Croft, in fact, towards the left of the picture, is the early leader in this seven furlong handicap. He's being tracked by Adranak over on the far side. Running well towards the next side is Aradu. And it's Aradu towards the right of the picture. And Glen Croft towards the left over on the far side. Glen Croft and Aradu disputing it with Hires Praise next. And then comes Barclay Street, Adranak. Jamarge is well up there, start rights well there on the stand side, but it's still Glen Croft and Aradu disputing it as they come down now towards the three furlong pole. Aradu on the near side has the advantage from Glen Croft. He's being chased by start right, then hires praise in the center. Miss Cuddles is well there too. Adranax coming there over on the far side. Rimsch trying to get on terms as well. It's Glen Croft who's fought his way back over on the far side now. Aradu on the near side. Bear a little between these two. Adranak is over on the far side with Bell Bayou and Hullo vaguely putting in a good run in the center of the course and also coming there strongly in the center is Max Fider. They're coming down now towards the line and it's Glen Croft over on the far side as they race up towards the line. Glen Croft has the advantage from Dwell on the near side and Max Fider on the near side. Glen Croft from Max Fider as they come to the line. Max Fider's just got up to win under Cash Asperson. Glen Croft and Dwell in a photo for second and third and Chabonaz was fourth. So Cash Asperson wins the richest seven furlong handicap ever run in Britain, the Brent Walker handicap as Max Fider gets up in the closing stages to win this Brent Walker handicap. Max Fider, number 13 on the card, owned by Mr. M. McDonald, trained by Bill O'Gorman, written by Cash Asmus, and officially a photo for third, a photo between Dwell and Glencroft for second place, with Chabonaz close up behind them.